with you. Oh, number over yeah. time. Oh, Chief AB, I kind of wanted to start Anderson. with the conversation that? that Geraldo and Megan are having right now. So let's just jump yeah. in. It's warm. You know, we, I mean, Geraldo, everyone on this couch, really, I mean, I know everyone has military connections on this couch, and I think every person in our family has served yes. in one context or another. Geraldo obviously did multiple, uh, went on multiple deployments with many, many servicemen. I know because my brothers talked about seeing you over there. So I, I my just. My proudest achievement. The, no, and you really, you, how many? 27? 22. I mean, that's, that's a, just a Afghanistan lot. and Iraq. That doesn't count. Wow. Somalia or, you know, the territories, Gaza and so forth. And you were in with the troops. Oh, of course, of course. You, you didn't know. just parachute in, parachute out. So a lot of, uh, I, I, I think that there was a period there, a decade, where we saw more combat deaths than any reporters. I mean, we're, you know, you talked about your brother in Ramadi. Uh, you know, I remember a, a pickup truck filled with dead bodies in Ramadi. Oh you know, mm. What we were talking about during the break, though, leading up to that, because I just want to emphasize that all of us respect the military, is that when Donald Trump is criticizing Senator Blumenthal, who, yes, did lie about his service, but he also criticizes people who have served. So I don't know exactly what, what in the military is okay. But if you're critical of him, it doesn't, it doesn't matter if you served or didn't serve. There will be criticism. Well, look at what happened with Brian Williams. I mean, there are, there's just the, there are some things you can't do. Uh, and the one thing you can't do is puff your your military record. And so uh, Blumenthal paid with that. He's been humiliated over that years and years now uh, later. And I, and I, I, but the president, with all due respect, and I love him, dear friend of mine, 40 plus years, uh, he didn't serve either. Uh, and to criticize Blumenthal, who did, who was in the military, just wasn't a, a combat uh, GI, uh, and that I think is very gratuitous. I, 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 to me, you, although Ebony is absolutely right, that you, you push me, I'll push you harder. You come with me with a knife, I come with you with a gun. I, I get that. But you got to save your ammo a little bit. You can't, uh, to take on everybody over every issue and make it the worst thing that ever happened to them. I mean, that's why he was so critical of Megyn Kelly asking him the question about calling women fat, fat pigs and slobs and so forth. Uh, because uh, there she was asking the first question in the first debate, and she brings up the worst thing that ever happened to him. I mean, you can't do that uh, in life. It's just, uh, you know, you got to let some, you know, Blumenthal, honest guy, uh, generally speaking he had this meeting and the just the the nominee said what uh, obviously he said he was disheartened he said he was demoralized that was big news Blumenthal was right to report it uh, and, and to then go at him and say you know, the worst thing that ever happened uh, that you ever said I'm gonna cut your throat out I mean, but you know what I think is gonna happen Geraldo I think over the it's gonna be a long four years if this is how the president handles every mm -hmm criticism and I think that I he agree. will and I think that the American people even supporters of the president they'll never turn on him but they're going to turn maybe a little tone deaf to this type of hyper criticism this overreaction they don't seem to yet no it's still <laughs> early Sandra he hasn't even been in office for two months I think by year two or three it's going to be oh well of course that's how Trump is going to go at it and I don't know that they'll have the same bite but you know I, I just want to I, I wanted to say at the end of the show I I want him not to overreact to every provocation. On the other hand, as the father of five, if you do something to hurt my child, I'm going to say something to you. That's, that's a whole different, you know what I mean? To me, that's bigger than so can I just all ask the this question Because I haven't heard anybody talk about this. So this isn't just the president saying he doesn't like the way somebody treated his daughter. It's an American corporation that he's having a reaction to that's extremely negative that could affect, what, their bottom line? Their it, it actually helped know. on the stock Did went up 2% on the day that it them? happened. I believe that. Um, but you see my point. I mean, it isn't just... I completely agree with you. I, I, my, I've I'm surprised myself with my raw reaction to that. I think it's... A businessman really? should know better than to uh, to publicly. Oh, right. I, I think there was a. Uh, I think he could still handle the fact that somebody um, offended his daughter and potentially hurt her business. But I don't know that. I, I'm just a real. I don't know that speaking guy. as president, Trump was the right way to go about it. It's I'm, not even I'm, that. That's not. I don't. The tweet. I'm mean, looking at how your dad responds when people criticize you. He doesn't do things like that. He does. He actually. I mean, on it, legitimately, we actually. How I started my career was we publicly disagreed on on several issues, and the media took handle to it. So I do not have the kind of but relationship with Donald is Trump Ivanka? and Ivanka. Why has. doesn't she speak? She's on, also on behalf of herself. She's a member of his cabinet. I, 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 
officially or unofficially, one way or another. Actually, there's a legal reason. But Kellyanne Conway going on TV and saying buy uh, Donald, buy Ivanka Trump's clothes, that it's unethical. It's actually against rules if you're serving in a government position. So I so. watched it, and she did actually say that. Yes, yes she did. I mean, I've, I've heard people does, kind of paraphrase it. Doesn't bother me. I'm you, sorry. Even though you paraphrase it, you you go out and buy Ivanka shoes. You heard it from me. I'm not in the cabinet. She's not. Again, she's not the president. Somebody just died in a raid. A Navy SEAL just died. I don't care about these shoes. I'm sorry. It is it is unpresidential, and I'm sick of it. All of us here on this couch collectively have much more important things to focus on than Ivanka Trump's shoes and Nordstrom's. And if they want to turn into the Kardashians, they're well on their way to do Ooh. it. Her and her business shouldn't have anything to do with the presidency. That's what you gave up now yeah, that you're living in the right. White that's House. The, the, the point is, she she what she gave up. She's being punished in a way that's disproportionate and is ad hominem. They're attacking her <laughs> you know what because to she's me related on a daily to the president. Basis because of my father, well, it's part so. of the game. I, I, so, it's what so, you but sign what up for. Alluding to is the fact, and I tweeted and this article illegal. out. Um, it is. It, it goes against the code out. of ethics. She actually did adhere to stricter rules of divesting from her businesses than even her father did, and he's in the White House. So that's what I hear you alluding to. But what Sandra is saying is so true, and it's interesting that their stock went up because we're all talking. About Nordstrom. Mm -hmm. But as president, is that a presidential thing to do? And it's such a fair question because we're talking about the nomination of a Supreme Court justice this week. <laughs> I'm only laughing about, because we're going up on about Arnold Schwarzenegger and the Celebrity Apprentice ratings at the National Prayer Practice. I mean, you got to talk about something that's unprecedented. But, 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 so, so, so uh, a, a company question. like Nordstrom that's publicly traded has to be, has to be legally honest in their earnings reports and yeah. any public announcement that mm -hmm. they make. Their obligation is first and foremost to shareholders. Yeah. If they say they are letting go of the brand because of declining sales, you then have President Trump questioning their authenticity of right. their announcement but put to stop selling her items. Why should he have the right pulpit. of every other dad? Because he's not operating this in a not, father this capacity. Isn't no, about, right? but he is operating in a father capacity. So how capacity. can he have done it without doing, without stepping in it the way that Sandra just yeah. <laughs> pointed out? I, I, how do you get there I without... I have the utmost respect for you, Geraldo, really, and we've been friends for <laughs> so a long time, but I think you're being ridiculous. What, and I think you're being said? like a, what do they call it, like a... I know they call a it like a, a bear. Are you a, trying to just a bear get parent? What is it? The, a parent oh, that's a protective. Hover, 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 I understand. I understand that. Not guilty. I understand that's the inclination of a father. I com I don't have children, but I completely understand that. But I'm just curious. That. How could he have done it differently? You mean make a comment that? Uh, that's what my whole point. Done what First of all, the president isn't isn't uh, covered by these conflict of interest uh, statutes. It's everybody but the president, and uh, you know. If, if someone, it's just about, I, I think that a different, I'm stumbling because I, I understand that Megan is correct in, in every you're substance. You're stumbling because you're wrong? Yeah. Ex, yeah. No, <laughs> you're making a but, really but, emotional but argument. I, I am taking a, an emotional, emotional argument emotional and I would do it again <laughs> tomorrow that's because fine. that's how I feel. I feel that Nordstrom's made a decision that if, if Ivanka Trump was, was Jane Doe, they would not have made. That's my assumption. I wonder how Ivanka feels about all this. I, I wonder if Ivanka I would want my father, the president, oh. speaking out about it. So here's what I have read. And, and you have lovely children. You guys children. can correct me. Oh, yeah. They're very <laughs> children. Children. So children. The reason <laughs> you haven't heard her on subject, on point, is because by divesting, she now cannot comment one way or the other. Is that it? That she yeah. can't I'm comment? I'm not saying she has to comment specifically to this. I'm just saying she could do so. She could have her company say something. They, we're in a way where it is. I think Ivanka Trump is more of a, 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 a less okay. emotional than brand her father. Exists. I think Somebody's she's running more the of a business professional. Yeah. Oh, I think she understands she's better the, the political and financial oh, consequence yeah. of pro. being now brand associated with both the, the good and the bad of President Trump. She's definitely a lot. Well, I mean, I would say she's a lot more savvy when it comes yeah. to things like that than her but, father but is. But yeah. I, I know the 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 issues of how the brand would be affected by his candidacy was very much on the mind of the entire family. Remember, yes. that, okay, that was Celebrity Apprentice ran right into the, the, his announcement almost. And they were very concerned about how the people Look who hated him. Look at this universe. Him. Okay, this is a great question. This is a great question. This is a great question. And I hadn't thought about it this way. Creaker One says, Fox host keeps saying it's okay for Trump to defend his daughter. Actually, that's not true. We've been debating. Well, do it. Um, <laughs> from Nordstrom. Defend her from what exactly? That's a good question. How is she suffering? She's divested. Mm -hmm. She's there. They're away from her ability. No, to Geraldo was saying it's. He's saying it, making the case. He's the Fox host making yeah, the case. So, so okay how is she suffering exactly? According to this viewer, we'd like to know. Well, I. 
Are you asking me if, if Ivanka is now going to be living in a, in a no tell motel? No, I don't Defend think that. Defend her from what exactly is the question. Her dad feels that her business was attacked not because of her business or the quality of the product, but rather his political policy. Ah. Therefore, he is reacting to it as I would react and as I think many red blooded. Let me, let me make one last thing. Right, let's move on and well, talk yeah. about let it. Let me say one last thing. <laughs> Nothing in their life will ever be the same, ever. There were people that will go to their events and won't go simply for political reasons, and I think they're finally realizing the realities of that. And I will say, if she benefited from the name recognition of being Ivanka Trump, then I think she has to also now reap the consequences. Interesting. I want a pair of shoes that say Sandra Smith. I think we'll get there. <laughs> we'll see you in a while. Thank you.